A new report is out with some startling new numbers showing Oregon is spending far below the national average on K-12 education. NBC5's Ryan Christensen joining us live in our Medford newsroom with more on the stats and what's behind them. Ryan. Craig, according to the new report released by the U.S. Census Bureau, Oregon schools have had worse financial setbacks than other states in the, in the country. And that may be why in 2011-2012, Oregon spent only 89 cents per student for every $1 spent nationally. With four kids in the Central Point School District. I have a daughter in seventh grade and then a son in fifth grade and a daughter in third and a daughter in kindergarten. Tiffany Idiard is worried about a new report showing Oregon is spending on education at an all-time low rate compared to the national average. It is concerning when I hear that, you know, we don't have as much funding. The report just released by the U.S. Census shows Oregon spending on education declined in the 2009-2009. 2010 school year and again in 2011-2012. It's the lowest Oregon schools have been funded since record keeping started. What is it that they're missing out on? Oregon Chief Education Officer Nancy Golden says decreased funds, bigger class sizes and shorter school years may be why Oregon has one of the worst high school graduation rates. But she told us in December the state's working to rectify that. It's about the state shaking the hands with these communities and saying we're going to provide support, we're going to provide investment for She it. says parents can also help do their part. Read with your children, interact with them. Um, as students are reading at grade level by third grade, they have three times as much of a chance of going to college. The Oregon legislature is lending a helping hand. In 2013, they approved more than $700 million of additional state funding to go to education. But any boost to their ability to, to teach our children is wonderful, so that is good news. Movement in the right direction. Something Idiard can get behind as this troubling report shows much improvement is needed. Now it will be about two years before researchers will be able to see if the increase in funding will help Oregon schools get back closer to the national average. Reporting live in the newsroom, Rayanne Christensen, NBC5 News.